I joined the REMC because I was put in there. My father was a conscientious objector. He didn't wish to fight. How did you feel about that? I felt fairly violent about it, actually. I went off to school at the age of five, boarding school, went and I had a nanny called Morgie that came from Wales. That's why I like playing rugger. And I had a... I married a vet, but I was at the school at the age of five. When I grew up with my father, there was, um... I suppose was a conchie. And in my life, a conchie was a coward. <coughs> at the age of five, because everybody's father was dead. Or they were heroes. And the only person that looked up to was uh, the nanny of a boarding school. And so every time you went home, uh, your mother was going out with lovely gravy or the rest of the squadron that got fucked out. <clears throat> and you were there putting little cocktails together and shaking up, and the parties didn't last that long because they were dead. Why was he a conscientious objector? Because he believed that uh, he didn't want to fight. It was on religious, moral? I think he was just a coward. You really think that now, still as an adult? He tells me that he drove an ambulance. So, I thought he was a coward. Everybody, when I was at school, everybody's father was a hero or he was dead. So I came up there and said, if somebody wants to say that to me, then he's got to fucking say it smart or I'll knock him out. Yeah. Do you think, but I mean, you're a man now, uh, Oliver. And I've come and... to great estate. And when you... I was and a little tiny boy with a hang-ho, the wind and the rain, and a foolish thing was but a toy. With the, the rain, rain, rain every, every, day. every day. When I came to man's estate. Against knaves and thievesmen shut their gates for a hang-ho, the wind.